Well, I'm going to look at what happens when the cards are being given. At the moment, there's been seven cards, yellow cards in Super Rugby Aotearoa in two weeks. And there's been four red cards and three yellows in Super Rugby AU. So the cards are coming out a lot earlier. Sounds like my career. Yeah, exactly. So we thought we'd have a look at how teams could take advantage of that. If we have a look here, it is the Hurricanes with Artie Sevilla, their captain, in the bin for 10 minutes. And they're going to do some line-out defence. And every other team in both comps at the moment will probably kick. Crusaders line-out just outside their 22. They'd normally kick. Let's have a quick look at the Hurricanes defence. They put Jackson Garden Bashup, their 10 in the five metre line tram tracks. And let's, if we play it on, just have a look at how the Crusaders are able to oblige the Hurricanes to defend the full width of the field, which is hugely important. We're going to reference a couple of these guys later on, but that is the number 12 for the Crusaders, Dallas McLeod, and also in the ruck there is Tom Christie. We'll play it on and we'll just see where those guys end up afterwards. Jack Goodhue will carry the ball forward and Mwanga will have a look at the breakdown and so will David Harvilli. Crusaders keep going same way. Now, what most teams would still be set up for here is once they get to this side, well, they'll probably kick. One thing to note as we keep going is that the Hurricanes have their inside centre, their 13 at the ball, their 14, and also their 9 all the way over here. Remembering that, yes, they've only got 14 men, but it's really important where you split your backs. What have the Crusaders done? And people who have watched the Crusaders right through their history will know how hard the Crusaders work off the ball and how much all 15 players can influence what happens in the game. The one thing I want people to see here is, yes, Cody Taylor. What an excellent line break and great footy from the Crusaders. But some of the guys we've mentioned are involved by spreading the Hurricanes' defence. We've got backs. We've got 15 Harvilli. Over here, we've got um, Dallas McLeod out there. We've got uh, the back rower, Tom Christie, right out in the far wing. We've got all their backs doing all the work to spread out there. Remember, the Hurricanes got jammed on the other side of the field. So what happens when we look at the way they've defended that play is that, understandably, the Hurricanes' defence are looking where good. They're worried about what's happening on the outside. And if we freeze it there, these sorts of players here, their eye line is all the way out here where those motion players from the Crusaders are. And what happens next is the Crusaders do what the Crusaders do best. They play Crusader football through the middle, Great backing up, and it's Richie Moanga that scores a classic Crusaders try. But what I think we've illustrated there is profiting from a yellow card and 15 men involved. What yeah, have you got for us, Cook? Definitely sticking to plan there, and that is a theme that we see across New Zealand rugby. Efficiency when they've got the ball and efficiency off the ball. Here we get the Highlanders against the Waikato Chiefs. They're inside the 22. They've got a set piece, centre, centre field. They do their job at set piece. Very good, very well structured. They play till they get advantage. Aaron Smith clears the ball. They want to play fast. Ioane carries the ball, gets caught, and not a great tackle. I want you to have a look at the attention to detail at the breakdown. Playing fast is a mindset. It's a technique at breakdown that influences. You cannot play fast by just picking the fastest players in your squad. You've got to have attention to detail. When you see New Zealand teams take the ball into the breakdown, you very rarely lose sight of the ball. Aaron Smith, that means, can play that ball as soon as he's available and you have a disorganised Waikato defence watching the ruck, not really sure where they've got to be and how to align, not getting clean shots on the ball and influencing the pace of the game. The Highlanders are in control. Aaron Smith scanning, goes behind here, gets outside. And we have now also, we have 13 Waikato Chiefs players trying to get back in front of the game. What we know about New Zealand sides, they create one-on-one -on -one opportunities and they finish when they get those opportunities. A great try by Nareki. Yes, it's a That's number nine stream, isn't it? The, They're the, the that. Yeah, excellent.